You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Harvey versus Jet. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Harvey, you are asking the court to award you $496.52 for baby supplies you say the defendant, Ms. Jet, demanded for a child you adamantly deny is yours. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Jett, in response to Mr. Harvey's suit, you have petitioned the court for the results of a paternity test. Yes, Your Honor. You argue that today you're going to finally prove he is your daughter's biological father and say it's time he steps up and acts like a man. Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Harvey, take me back first to this relationship. You met on a dating site. I met her on a dating site, and she got pregnant two weeks after, after us having sex, she got pregnant. I'm... Your Honor, that's a lie. I, in July, um, I started dating Harvey. Um, every day... I actually moved with, um, Harvey in July. Every you day... in with Yes, him? I did. And, um, every day we had sex every day. You got pregnant no, two weeks. You I didn't find out till so I was pregnant. Oh, we had sex I, the first week it, I met you. No, I didn't. Okay, so it was the second week. I didn't week. find out till I was pregnant um, a month later, which was August. I was having sex with him every day. You left Morning, a noon, month and night. later. No. A month after I met her, she left and moved back to Orlando. I stayed it, 60 yes, miles from before, her. Yes, and after I found out I, I got she pregnant, that's when I moved. And told me to buy all this baby stuff. I asked him, and I, okay. And I, I did not argue it with her. It takes nine months for somebody to be pregnant. So you meet each other, move in together, and get pregnant all within a month. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And when you find out you're pregnant, you tell Mr. Harvey. And he was so happy. He was happy. And Mr. Harvey, you were happy he when was. you heard the news. I was happy. Because you thought it was your child. Yes. Uh, after she found out she was pregnant, we stopped talking. She moved back to Orlando. She wrote. Why'd you stop talking? Because he was so sexually active with other women. He was cheating on me. Okay. So there was a breakdown in the relationship. Yes, she, he was cheating and it, on me. And then it, it ended. Yes. So at some point you were living apart. Yes. And then you demanded he bring I, you. Um, I actually, I was asking him months and months and months. Can he get this? Can he get that? He said, no, I'm not getting you Your anything Honor, until I the baby is born. To, I have evidence to show you that I have bought everything she said on this... Everything she not, demanded me... I asked me, him much so I, have, months. I have evidence right here. I'd like Honor. to see that evidence. She wrote me on Facebook demanding but how that I buy... All, I said, okay, stuff. Your Honor, I have the receipt. And it might be the date on there. I have the receipt where I bought everything on the list. You need to make sure you bring Step me up. all of these things. One, diapers, two, baby wipes, three, pacifiers, four, bottles and a bottle scrubber, five, her car seat, six, a baby crib, seven, her clothes, eight, a breast pump so I can feed her milk, nine, a nursing pillow that I showed you, ten, her lotion and body wash. And she need all this stuff before April. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I said that. And this is all before the baby's born. Yes, but I... And took... then you responded back... Okay. Okay. Okay, but it took... Your Honor, it took him... I asked him... I bought it. It took him months and months to buy this stuff. I been asked him for this stuff. And then and I see attached to this... I begged for him to buy this stuff. ...is a receipt. A receipt, and I spent... That I close see... Close to $500 on everything. A her, her pack di and her play... Is close to what you get. A pump, bottle, bottle scrubber, bedtime wash... Everything you named off. And he did not get all of those things, Your Honor. He did not. He didn't. No, don't act like you did. I didn't get a pillow. <laughs> you did not... The only thing you bought... Your Honor. Your Honor. So, Mr. Harvey, it's a you claim pillow. now you did all this hmm. because you thought it was your child, but in actuality, now you don't even know if this child is really yours. No, Your Honor. I and how did you get to that point? Because where you had doubts. When did you start putting two and two together? Be specific. Yeah. Okay, when I first met Shardaysia, she got pregnant fast, and then we stopped talking. Okay, after she had the baby, she had told me the whole time she was pregnant, she was in a relationship. Your Honor, I and didn't And she said start... she was in a sexual relationship. Honor, That's Honor, one. Honor, and another thing is she had the baby start... and tagged the dude's name in the picture when the baby was Your first Honor. born. I got evidence for that. Well, she tagged another dude. Like, listen, if the baby mom, why didn't you tag me in the your picture? Honor. She tagged another guy and say she doesn't know who the guy is. Well, why the picture still stayed on your, your Facebook? Honor. And my family had to tell me, oh, you know she tagged another dude name in the picture. 
Your Honor. I got evidence Your for Honor. that, too. Uh, Your Honor. Let me see this evidence. Jerome, will you hand this to me, please? Yes, Miss Jet, please. First of all, um, I put a picture of my daughter on Facebook. Okay. Why you kept it on I That's did... all I gotta say. Yes, and that right there where the arrow is, that's the dude name who she tagged in the okay, picture. Okay, and I have... <laughs> Why would you tag another man's Your name Honor. on your, your baby's Honor. photo? I did not tag She claimed that the, the dude out of nowhere just tagged his self in tagged himself in the picture by his self, and I never met him. At all. And I actually have proof that, um, I actually wrote the dude and I said, hey, my daughter, dad thinks you, that you're her father because you tagged yourself in the picture. And he said, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what, why you, what you're would trying this, to do. Why would this guy, Miss Jed, why, why would this and guy... And you don't he, know he, what you're saying. He said that it, maybe it was an accident that he, um, mistakenly tagged himself in her picture. That's what he said. Okay. But you didn't do it. No, I never did. Oh, I never did. Uh, she blocks me from my phone. So you say you have been supporting the no, child. He has yes, ma'am. I, I have a money order right Your here. Your Honor, he well, has not been giving money for a baby. Jerome, will you have that evidence, please? And a receipt for the money order. And that was $100. And then when she was pregnant, I went shopping. So you say for her you gave her cash multiple clothes. times, but you just have a receipt for one money order? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so what about the other times? I, I never kept it. And so. Has he given you no, any Honor. other... So he, he has hasn't not. given you money multiple no. times. he has not. But he has given you this $100. Yes, he has. Okay, that's she's what no, I want to be listen, clear of. Yana, to be, be honest with you, I only have evidence for that. So she's gonna say, yeah, he gave it, she got to. Why but if I didn't have evidence, evidence for that, she would've said I never gave her that. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Ms. Jett, so I see you brought some evidence. Yes, Your Honor, I did. Here's all the expenses that I've been taking care of for of my daughter alone. Um, he's, he's suing me for um, $500. Her diapers is um, a little less than what he's suing me for. And plus, her feeding is double that. I'm suing you for what I got a receipt for. Okay, but her diapers are close to what you're suing me for. Her diapers is dang near that money, $500. Every time you needed diapers, you no, called me and I gave it to you. Gave me Whenever you needed something, every anything. time she called me, I gave it to her, Yana. He don't. Ms. Jet, you claim that what he's given you is merely a drop in the bucket. Yes, it's, it's really nothing. And he these do are your real expenses yes, as it, it relates I have, to your daughter. I provide all these things by myself. You provided, the state provided. I'm telling you, she, the, the feet, does, right, it, the feet, the it, feet alone, the state provides. She get weak. The state so provides all the eight hundred dollars. The state provides all that. I ain't trying to make so, her look bad. Okay. I have to uh, get help. I can see your diagram. You may step back to your podium, ma'am. All right. Moving on. So, at this point, are you involved in the child's life at all? No. Today? As no. of now? I haven't talked to her. He haven't seen my baby since July. You haven't seen the baby since July. So, Mr. Harvey, it's, it's your doubt is just based on a Facebook a No, member. no, no, a it's not that. It's not that, Yana. I have what is it? Okay. And then another thing is, after she got... After she had the baby, she was trying to get pregnant again. And then she was like, she told me she was pregnant or whatever, so I went and got her and stuff like that. that and then she had started going through my phone. I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna go through your phone too. So I go through her phone, right? She Your telling Honor. this dude, she said, you need to pay for this abortion. No, I didn't. And the whole time she was never pregnant. She no, told me I she didn't. was pregnant for me, and then she telling some other dude he need to pay for abortion. Your Honor. So, Miss Jet, mm -hmm. is this true? No, he's lying. Oh, now I'm lying. So, Miss Jet, is it your contention? that you were not intimate with anyone else no, during the window of conception. No, I was not. I was only with him and I was living with him at the time. All right, Mr. Harvey, you've brought a witness. Please, yes, ma'am, stand. Step to the podium. Everybody looks like the Harveys or the Highsmith. They have no dreams of us at all. I can sense your anger and you your frustration. It. I didn't even know about him till I got that phone call. Well, they only knew each other a month. Exactly. In the case of four-month-old Nolani Harvey, you... He did not get all of those things, Your Honor. I didn't get a pillow. You claim that what he's given you is merely a drop in the bucket. Yes. My name is Denise Highsmith. Hi, Ms. Highsmith. Thank you for joining us. You are... I'm his auntie. You're his aunt. What do you know about this doubt? All I know is that when she had the baby, looking at my nephew's other children, we have strong genes. And all his brothers look alike, his brother's kids look alike. And I have strong they have, the, they have the same heads, and our family have big eyes. The baby don't resemble me, Xavier, or any of Xavier's family. 
she looks. Uh, his his children look just alike from different moms. Everybody looks like the Harvest or the Highsmith. Baby has no genes of us at all. Head shape like everything. Looks like me. I have strong genes. Well, that's my opinion. So it's your contention that your family genes are strong. Yes, ma'am. And you see it in all the other children. Yes, ma'am. And ma the members of the family. And yes, when you look at this baby, you just see nothing. Only the red color. They're both red. That's that's not good enough. Thank you for your testimony. Ms. Jett, you also brought a witness. I'd like to hear yes. from her. Ma'am, please stand and yes. step to the podium. What's your name? Kim Canty. Ms. Canty, thanks for being here. You are... Sardes' mother. Ms. Jett's mother. Yes. Please explain to the court the knowledge you have. He called me and told me that Sardes was pregnant. I didn't meet... No, I... No, uh, no, no. he hadn't met me, but you called me. Mm -hmm. And told me my daughter is pregnant and how I shouldn't worry about I you did leaving. I didn't know. I did no, not you know. Didn't I did know not me. know Miss Kim until after the baby was born. No, after you I didn't her, know if me. I didn't know her. Oh, you called me. Don't sit up there and lie. You did call I me. I did not. I did not know. You, oh, I did not, not know her until after the lie. baby was born. I just you met Shardasia. She didn't tell me. You told I me. I didn't. I, Your Honor, oh, and now so you got amnesia is it, now. Is it your contention, Miss Canty? That he called to say, you say he was going to take care of it. That's that what he was. That was it. And that was it. That was the end of the conversation. And Ms. Canty, did you ever have any conversation with your daughter that would indicate maybe she was intimate with someone else and someone else could possibly be the father? No, I didn't even know she was dating him. I didn't even know about him till I got that phone call. Well, they only knew each other a month. Exactly. They testified to that. In exactly. Court. And he if... promised you he was going to step up and be there for your daughter and for the baby? Yeah. Don't worry. You ain't got to worry about me leaving her. You said that. And I can sense your anger and you your said frustration. It. You said And it. that's because you feel like he's turned his back on? Yes. The baby. Because, and yeah. you know, Your Honor, he was there for the delivery. And Your Honor, yes, I lost my job did. because of that, too. He cut the cord. I lost my job because I was supposed to go he to was, work that morning Your and Your I came over there. I came there. We wasn't even talking. She was in a relationship our whole pregnancy. I, Called I, me and said, I'm having a baby. I didn't go to work and got fired. No. Mr. Harvey, how did you go from cutting the cord to bringing her to court? Like, I didn't know Miss um, Jet. You know, I did not know her. So after she had the baby, that's when I got to know her. And she is... <laughs> She Why is not the you person be with that... somebody that you don't Yonder. know. Yonder. Because Why the child, be the child, the child. I want to be in a child Yonder. life, and if, if, if that child mine, I want to be in a child's life. That's the reason okay, why Yonder. I still if you was want there. To be in the child's life. Why you not but, there now? Your Honor, and he because I'm not there. I'm not. I'm not there no. now because situations that happen. Oh. And okay. I, I'm not going. I'm not even going to put that like that. But situations that happen. Let's talk one at a time. Your Honor, can I say something? I want to understand that though, Mr. Harvey, because it seems like. You were on board. I was. And I have not really heard testimony that would substantiate the departure from the commitment Your that name. you've made. Because I don't real, understand real. where the doubt <laughs> Your is coming from. Your the, the doubt? The reason why I stopped, okay. Facebook I, tag, I got that. Okay, the Facebook tag and what the multiple else? dudes. What else? That's that's what I that's this my is, reasons. Because multiple dude, the the multiple dudes, she got pregnant fast, and the the departure. I was still there, and um, the the real departure when I stopped seeing the baby was because she had threatened me. That's the reason why I didn't go. The reason why I didn't go. I stopped seeing the baby is because she had threatened my life. You know Your what I'm saying? Name. And I don't know her, and I got other kids, and I and I wasn't oh. gonna go through that. I told her, I said, you know what? Just go through child support, and if it's Your mine, name. then I will be there, and I and I will do Your everything. Name. I was there. I was there, Yana. When? And the reason Let's I stopped. Get some more. I was there ever since. And, when? And ever since a month Every ago. Moon? And the reason I stopped, no, I stopped going there because she no, threatened my life. And, be, and listen, no. I should have got a police report. Your Honor, him, he tried to make me walk home. Listen. <sighs> and this is why, Jerome, I'm, kids having kids. Exactly. It just, I wow. mean. You don't even know how to conduct yourself. <laughs> Fighting and carrying on? This is ridiculous. The only way we're gonna be able to move forward with this is just to get the results. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. I have to have these results before I can rule on your arbitration. 
in your suit for $496.52, Mr. Harvey. Are we ready for the results? Yes. yes. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Harvey V. Jet, pertaining to four-month-old Nolani Harvey, Mr. Harvey, Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Harvey V. Jet, pertaining to four-month-old Nolani Harvey, Mr. Harvey, you are not her father. Oh. It's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Cause I was in a relationship before I met him. I was in a relationship be previous. Before oh, now you're in a relationship? Yes. Before I met you, yes. But I was never pregnant. Miss Jet, you're so diplomatic now. Because, <laughs> no, listen, Your Honor, you're smart. I just witnessed probably about 30 minutes of you taking this young man through the ringer. Yes, Your Honor. And I asked you, could there be anyone else? And you said no, and then as soon as I read the result, you went straight into politician mode. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh. Yep, everything's gonna be okay. Uh-huh, shaking hands and kissing babies. Oh, that's fine. You weren't surprised. I, I just think that's a little unfair that you put him through that knowing all the while that it could potentially be this other person's as well. So after your arbitration, <laughs> Mr. Harvey, she sent you an itemized list of items that you were supposed to bring. This was a demand. It is this court's opinion and judgment that you are entitled to the $496.52. <laughs> You spent on the child that we determined here today is not, in fact, your biological daughter. So the ruling is for the plaintiff and court is adjourned.